Bob the alien discovers the Dewey Decimal System. Hi, my name is Allison Wonderland, and this is my friend Bob. He is from Planet Planet Lol. Bob loves spiders. Planet Planet Lol does not have books. Bob thought books might help him learn about spiders. Books are great tools to help us learn all sorts of things. Public library. I took Bob to the library. A great place to find books. Bob looked around the library. Wow, he said. There are so many books. How do I find one about spiders? First, you need to learn how library is organized. I said, then you can find any book. Leo said, Bob, I mean, sounds good. These three digital numbers on the shelf and book spines, Bob, they are called call numbers. Call numbers are part of the Dewey Decimal, Decimal Classification System. Dewey, Bob said with a laugh, that's a silly name. Not so silly, I said. It's a, its name after the man, Leliva Dewey, who invented it. He saw a librarian who lived a long time ago. So, how do we do it? asked Bob. Every notification book can be put into one of two groups. The groups ranged from zero to a hundred to the nine hundred. The first number in the call number shows us the group this book is in the zero hundred. Lee blog said Bob sounds confusing. Can you tell me more? Sure, I said. The zero hundredths are the general books. The Anal Unis Coloptis. These books have too much information to be grouped into any one subject. The zero hundredths also have books that don't fit into other groups. For example, you'll find the book Computers and UFOs here. I keep going, going. The hundredths are books about film and physiologists. They help people think about feelings and what it means to be human. I'd like to know what it means to be human, said Bob. Totally, I answered. And mythology. In this group and traditional stories, I said, the three hundredths are the are books about social studies. These books are about the people live and great long together. Books about government are here, so are books about jobs, money, holidays, and the armed forces. Next, I explain the four hundreds are books about languages. In the, the in this group, you'll find books about the rules of English books about foreign languages such as Spanish and French and also found found here. You can even read about hypoth hieroglyphs in the section I said hieroglyphs are awesome Bob's brain lights started flashing he was starting to understand understand the 500s are the books about math and natural science I said natural science is the study of world around us that Include, includes stars, planets, 
electricity, and volcanoes. It also includes dinosaurs, rainforest, plants, and animals. I love animals, Bob said, but are we almost dozing? I'm getting tired. Hang in there, Bob, I said. We also have books about alphabet science. There are in 600 groups. Applied science in the study of how people use natural to understand life easier in the 600 groups. You will find books about technology, cooking, health, farming, and other books found here. We were, were near the end, I said. We put books about art and sensation or fun activities in the seven, 70s, 700s. These are books about drawing, plan, planning, and music. Books about sports are also in the 700s. Literature is the, in the 800s. Include stories about the plays, plays, jokes, and riddles are in the it too. And guess what, Bob? I said. Um, nineties. He asked. Right, I said. The nine nine hundreds are the books about history and geography. If you want to read about explorers, knights in castles, wars, and stuff like that, you'll look in this group. General books. Leapers, said Bob. That's a lot of groups. How do you, I find the spiders? You think spiders hang out in the library, Bob asked? <laughs> Don't be silly, said Bob. I smiled and said, the hundredth groups, I just get you to the right part of the library. Remember the numbers on the pin of the book. We look, look at the first number. Tell us which hundredth group the book is in. The five, I mean, this book is in 500s. That's the natural science category. The second number stands for more specific subject here. The nine tells us this book is in the animal group. Therefore, Bob, I said, let's look even closer. The next five is more specific than the first two numbers. This five stands for the interest and the spiders. The last group of the numbers put the book into an even more specific group than 44. Means that the book is transless. That is kind of spider. Beneath the call number is the first letter or or letters of the author's last name. I said Ramiz is the author's last name. No way, I said that's what the online catalog is for. Just type in the subject, such as spider. The catalog gives you the name of the books in the library about spiders, along with their call number. To find the, a book, you go to the shelf marked with that call number. To find a book, you go to the shelf marked with the call number. Oh, here are some. I said, did you find some spiders, Bob asked? No, Bob, I answered, but I found eight books about spiders. Should we check one out, I asked? Blee, or... Sounds good.
Connor, what did you just say?